talked about, or we explained basically what we did uh, with the wall and how the wall was structured and what it was made of and so forth. But we want to take into another thing into consideration is what kind of money are we talking about, you know, to do something like that, okay? Uh, the, the renovation of the church itself, uh, time we were finished was somewhere around $150,000, okay? And uh, what I'm kind of leading here to is that, uh, and the wall, time we finished the wall and uh, all the blocks and material and so forth, uh, this total, counting the renovation and so forth, was close to $600,000. To build a church in 1913, we're talking in comparison $25,000 compared to $600,000 just to renovate the inside and do the west wall. I, uh, I had done my homework too before we started on this, this west wall and so forth uh, to give congregation kind of an idea of what we would be talking about if we were to replace this church. Now that's replace the church. As we know, a problem today to replace the church if it was uh, disassembled, tore down. Uh, we'd probably go back to a metal building like a lot of them are, and we, we wouldn't. But actually, the value of this church is $3.1 million to replace it. Uh, in, in redoing the church, uh, you know, th there, there was a concern as to where this money was going to come from. A lot of people, I think, had in mind that we probably would have to borrow the money, and uh, we did. We did take that course of action, and uh, the money was going to be available to us, but through the kindness and the loyalty of our members, plus the outside, all of that was donated, paid for the whole thing. Total with the renovation, the elevator, and everything, almost six hundred thousand dollars. We did, we did not have to borrow any money.